He still thinks you're capable of normal human feelings. Just let me talk to him. You know something, darling? That's when I'm going to let you out of there. When you're capable of normal human feelings, which will be never. Marion. Marion. balancing out your stock portfolio. But he didn't tell you what stocks he was selling. Yeah, no, no. He, well, he said something about some cat food. But he said it would not hurt the cats. Have I done something wrong? No, Stuart, he didn't. Then why are you so upset? Hi. Uh, I went down to the kitchen for a glass of water and I got into a conversation with Lucretia. That's where I've been. Liza, what are you uh, looking for? This is it. This is it. This is... The paper that approves of the stock transfer from WRCW. Well I, well, I signed that, but I didn't know... That Barry didn't tell us that. Oh, Stuart, you mustn't blame yourself. I mean, he tricked both of us, and, and I urge you to sign it. But I should have read it, though. It's, it's my fault. No, darling, it's my no, fault. No, it's Adam's fault. It's all his fault. He lied to everybody. He lies again and again and again and again. Why did he do that? He, he did it so he could control the station. He did it so he could cancel Tat's show. <laughs> If that's true, then that, that's, that's terrible. He's terrible. More terrible than you know. He can't get away with that. Can he? I'm just so sick of him, I can't even fight him. Well, I can fight him. I'll, I'll fight him right now. Where is he? Well, maybe he's down at the pool in one of the cabanas. Hey, that's where I'll start. Okay. So, I know where he is. Whenever we have a fight, he always goes up to one of the guest bedrooms to lick his wounds. Oh, Liza, darling, before you run off looking for Adam, there's something we need to discuss. What do you Adam? want to discuss, Mother? Liza, this business with WRCW and Stuart Stocks has made you very angry. But don't lose sight of what's most important here, and that's to protect Colby from Adam. So I suggest you start divorce proceedings before you even speak to Adam again. And nobody, darling, must know that Adam is Colby's father, not even Stuart. And no matter how tempted you are, you can't talk to Jake about this. Well, then who's going to protect Jake? I mean, once everybody knows the truth, Adam is going to delight in telling Jake the truth. That's true, but we can't let that happen. Colby has to be the top priority here. We don't know how Jake is going to react to this, and Colby needs a father while you're getting your divorce from Adam. It'll make it harder for him to get his hooks into her, Liza. What a position to be put in. Yes, what a position Adam put you in. Oh, I'm just an idiot. I'm a big idiot. It's just I believed all these lies all along, and I'm just so stupid. There's, there's not a bigger idiot in the entire world than me. I, I, I just think I should tell everybody the truth and just get it all Liza, out of the open. Please, please, calm down. Please, darling, and think this through. No, I, I don't, I don't want to think about it. I'm just going to go help Stuart find him. Do you see what you've done, Adam? Oh, sh I hope you're satisfied. Shut up! You meddlesome witch! I love Liza with all my heart and all of my soul, and I could convince her of that if I could just talk to her. Liza! I'm right here! I'm right down the hall from you! You're not gonna win, Marion. The remote controls, there were two remote controls. There are two ways to open this door. Where is it? <laughs> oh, you thought you had the upper hand. And <laughs> you were in there for a minute. For the love of God, there's no batteries! Yeah!
batteries. Yo, you thought you were a match for me, Marion. You have been outclassed. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful double A batteries. Look at you. Gorgeous. Had me worry there for a minute, but. I threw the remote on the I threw it up against the wall. It's broken. You threw it up against the wall and broke it. You fool, you idiot, you damn wit. We're all in the garage, and the chauffeur hasn't seen him. Well, he's here. He's hiding in this house. Okay, well, I, I'm going to try the wine cellar, and then if he's not there, then I'll just, I'll just start all over again. Well, maybe he's outside. Maybe he went to the boathouse where he's walking on the lake. Oh, Adam wouldn't do that at night. He's afraid, afraid of snakes. Of snakes. <laughs> Which is ironic. I know where he is. At the gatehouse, waiting for you to win you over, Stuart. I thought you'd like to know... She had a wonderful supper. Oh, ate kiss. all of her cream spinach. <laughs> no, my poor kiss. No. Oh, you know, Adam always said that you'd learned. Cream spinach. Mm, yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Would you like me to leave her with you for a while? Uh, uh, before it's time to put her down? Um, well, actually, I was going to go to the gatehouse. Well, no. Johnny, why don't you let me take her? I'm sure you won't be down oh. there very long, unless, uh, of course, you find Adam, that is. Hello, beautiful. Mm. Ah. Well, then that would be great, Harry. Thank you. Here, give me that. How come you want to go to the gatehouse with me? You think I'm going to be a pushover with Adam, don't you? Well, I'm not. I'm going to, I'm going to be tough. Well, I'll be tough with you. That's right. And I am going to be the toughest of all, Adam. I'm going to keep this child from ever falling into your hands again. Do you hear me? You hear me too, don't you? Come on, darling. Let's sit down and wait for your mommy to come back. There you go. Oh, here. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Look at this toy. Isn't that wonderful? Just beautiful. Did you find him? We went by the, uh... Boathouse, too, just in case. Where's Stuart, darling? Oh, he, uh, he stayed outside to look at the stars. He said it was a beautiful night. I, I couldn't see it. Poor baby. Well, here's somebody you find beautiful every time you look at her. Yes. Yeah, she got, got her toy. Here, yeah, I do my pumpkin. There you go. Mm. Mm. I said, why are you looking at her like that? I'm just looking, Mama. You're trying to find Adam's face and hers, aren't you? Sweetheart, you mustn't weaken here. You can't ever think of Adam being Colby's father, Liza. I just know that I can't let him be around her. It makes me sad. Well, don't let it make you sad. Let it make you angry. You have got a very tough opponent to defeat here. I know. What's going on with you, Mother? Oh, I'm... Just being strong for you. It's the three of us Colby women against the world now, isn't it? You don't have to worry about me being angry. I mean, I, I haven't even thought about where Adam could be at this point. I mean, where is he? And why isn't he here, wearing me down? Maybe he realizes that he's gone too far this time, Liza. Listen, darling, I want you to promise me something, that if you need to talk about this to anyone, only talk to me about it, all right? Please promise me that. Here you go, little baby. There's your toy. I love you, sweetheart. No, too I'll call you in a little while, all right? Oh, the sky is so beautiful. You can see Pegasus and Andromeda so clearly. 
Well, I, I just I just stopped for a minute to look at the stars. That doesn't mean that I'm not really mad about what Adam did. I know, Stuart. I'm glad you enjoyed the stars. It was, but it was really awful. I mean, it's worse than usual. Yeah. It was really bad. He took advantage of me and in, he took control of your station. It's about something worse than that, isn't it? This, this isn't just about WRCW, is it? What makes you say that? Because if it was just about that, then, then you would be louder. This, 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 whatever it is, it's brought you way down. This is something to do with Colby. Right. Did you enjoy your private show, Adam? How does it feel to see how much your wife hates you? I don't see it that way at all, Marion. I think Eliza loves me very much, and that's why it hurts her so much. And let, you won't let me go to her. How can you stand to see your daughter suffer like that? How can I? You are watching the end of your life with Liza, Adam, and you don't even realize it. Oh, and by the way, any thoughts you ever had of being Colby's father are gone. I guarantee it. Don't you dare threaten me with my daughter. Only a few people know she's your daughter. Everyone else believes she belongs to Jake. And that's exactly the way I'm going to keep it. Now I know what I'm going to do with you, Adam. I really thought it was possible that Colby and Adam and I would be a family. But now I know it's not possible, Stuart. But, Eliza, I, I, I don't put anything past Adam. But Adam loves you and Colby so much. Doesn't he? I said, this, 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 this is something really terrible, isn't it? And this is something that, that even I might have trouble forgiving my brother for. I doubt that, Stuart. Uh, I didn't mean to scare you. You are. Okay, you're not willing to tell me what he's done yet. Okay, well, just, just, just remember, though, that the truth will always come out one way or another, no matter how hard you try to hide it. You're right. You're right, and that truth will come out, and it will come out in the right way. The way that will protect Colby. Uh, but there is somebody that needs to know first. Uh, oh, <laughs> down here forever I have a board meeting coming up very soon it's my absence is inconceivable they'll be looking for me you'll come down with a toothache darling or I don't know I was clever enough to trap you in there I'll think of something so how long do you think you're gonna keep me you weren't listening Adam as long as it takes Liza to finalize her divorce papers you're not serious and when Colby is well beyond your grasp I will not let Liza divorce me. This is not going to happen. That's why I can't let you out of there. The process could take take weeks, take months. That's right, darling. So I suggest you use your time wisely, Adam. Stop it. Let me out. I suppose that spiritual growth is quite out of the question, but um, I know. Why don't you write your memoirs, darling? My business triumphs and personal failures. Open this wall! You're never going to get away with it. I already have, Adam. You should have thought twice before you messed around with me. I know what you can do. You can watch the Spanish channels on the satellite dish, and you'll be bilingual in the millennium. After the Vista, darling.
take her up now? It's Rebecca. Ah, uh, yes, Harriet. Thank you. All right, here we go. I know that uh, you wanted to talk to me about yes, something. Yes, I uh, do. Okay, could uh, I have the short version? I'd like to read to her before she goes to bed. Oh, uh, sure, if you want. Okay. All right, sweetie, I'll be up in a little bit. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, they get more beautiful every day. <laughs> so, what is it? What's so important? going on. Go on. I said just, just... Just go on. Tell him straight out. I, I'm Colby's father. I just, um... I want you to know how much I appreciate you. And, and the man that you are. The father you've become. I, I really appreciate it. Everything that you are to Colby, it's it's a rare gift, and I'm I'm grateful that you're in her life. Liza, what is it? Oh, hello, Jake. Uh, did you come by to say goodnight to Colby? Actually, um, Liza called me. Uh, yeah, we were having a private conversation. Her? Oh, I just did, darling. She's fast asleep. Mother. Uh, yeah, of course I can take a hand. <laughs> Good night, Jake. Good night, Mary. Liza. Oh, uh, oh. Mother. Oh. Liza, wake up. That wasn't a real faint. Don't let Marion stop you. Just tell him. Just tell Jake that I'm Colby's father. Tell him the truth. Oh. Oh. Oh, Jake, what, what happened? I think you fainted, Marion. How do you feel? Do you feel dizzy? Do you feel any pain? Not yet. Um. Oh, how silly of me. I just remembered I haven't had a thing to eat except for two little hearts of palm early this morning. You probably have low blood sugar. Oh, dear. Would you be so kind as to get me a glass of water, please? Yeah, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll be right back. Thank you, Jake. A little obvious, Mother. Drastic measures, darling. Stay out of it. Listen to me, Liza. If you let this out, you're going to lose control. Now, you need a plan for Colby. Mother, do you understand that Adam could be out there right now telling everybody the truth? It's going to be devastating to him if he hears it from someone on the street. Or Adam. Trust me, Liza. Adam has told no one. And how do you know that? What, and indict himself? Listen, we promise you won't tell a thing to Jake about this until your divorce is finalized. Please, Liza. Can you do that for me? Please. I appreciate what you're trying oh, to do. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, thank you, you so go, much, Jake. Drink all of it, all right? Okay. You do have something to tell me, don't you? Is it about Adam and Colby? What, the stem cells? Hey. I thought you should know, Mrs. Chandler. Colby's come down with a fever again. Oh. And a rash. Damn, this, this is angry. Girl, I should be with her, not you. Can you give us a scare? Check you out here. Is she a fever? A slight one. Oh. Feel it. Oh. What about the rash? What do you think it is? I, I think it's our first case of roseola. It's a virus. Is it serious? No, no. It's not pretty, but she'll be fine. Oh. Just part of being a baby, huh? You'll be all right. Oh. Kisses will help. Kisses? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> um... Keep an eye on her. Uh, Liza, Jake is a natural. It's something Adam could never be. Listen to me. You can't let Colby lose Jake as a father. It wouldn't be fair to either of them, darling. Shut up, woman. Stop pouring your venom into Liza's ear. I'll be up in a little bit. Okay, watch that. So, ladies. Uh, you know, Mother, uh, Colby loves it when you read to her. 
Oh, yes, of course, especially when the stories have happily ever after endings, right, Liza? <laughs> uh, all right, Jake, thank you so much. Good night. Not gonna get any quieter around here. Hey, come on, what's on your mind? Um, well, it was about Colby and Anna. Yeah. What? what? Oh. Did, did he admit to switching his stem cells? Dimitri's stem cells? Yeah, he did. Adam admitted he confessed that he switched someone else's stem cells with Colby's. No, 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 that's not it! No! Damn it! 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 That's not it! She's not your child, Jake! She's mine! Mine! You hear me? Liza! I swear on my life, I'm not going to let you get away with this. What Adam did was illegal. Illegal. I'm, I'm pressing charges first thing tomorrow. Oh, come on. Please, Jake. I'm as, I'm as angry as you are, but for Colby's sake. Well, that, that's exactly what I'm talking about. For her sake. I mean, this is, this is just the beginning of him interfering in Colby's life. Really, we, we have to do something. What, what if... What if we don't do anything and God only knows what he's going to do in the future? Look, if the past is any indication, then I agree with you. I do. But, but arresting him is not the answer. I want him in jail. I want him in jail. If you are pressing charges, I promise you that I'm not going to support you. I can't... You, you would let Colby grow up in, in a house with a man you don't trust? Liza? Hi. Good morning. 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 So many lives to ruin, I wonder where he finds the time. Will you please help me convince Liza to press charges? He, he was tampering. This, this is illegal. Little brother, I think you better take a number and stand in line, because we have a little surprise. Uh, I don't... What, what is this? It's an FCC license with Adam's name on it. It proves he took control of WRCW away from his own wife. Oh. 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 Colby, all right? Uh, she has a rash and fever, but Mimi's reading to her. And, and, and Jake just went to check and see how she was doing. So, Liza, what do you think? Looks like we've got our proof. Adam's name on that license says it all. We were right. Duffield is a front. It has been the entire time. Yeah. Well, what are we waiting for? Well, that didn't take much convincing. Well, I told Tad in his office that I wasn't going to put up with Adam treating people like this anymore. He has used too many people. Including yourself. Well, now we've got him. How's Colby? Well, she's, she's fine. Her fever dropped. She's sleeping right now. Well, you all look so conspiratorial. For a good reason. We're going to stick it to Adam. How exciting. You can count me in. What's the plan? Now, before we all get into war mode here, I just want to apologize for what Adam's done to everyone. <laughs> Apologize, honey. He tried to finesse you out of a TV station. Uh, yeah, by default. He was really after Tad. I mean, he felt threatened. He does what Adam did. He tried to eliminate the competition. Yeah, but how could a guy hate another man for loving his son? Easy. He's a sociopath with too much money. You know, that anger. That anger that he feels jeopardizing the entire family. I mean, it... It really scares me. Anger. I, I 
if you asked Adam, I swear he would tell you that it's out of the love that he has for Junior. You know, I thought that he understood that love isn't about control. Let's not be gullible. I mean, he may have changed the window dressing, but he's still Adam Chandler. Which means he's going to try to control everything around him, including his children. Look what Jake's going through with Colby. She's not even his child. At least Colby still has Jake. And you have an ally to help protect her against Adam. You know, I know you tried to warn me. And I didn't listen. I mean, I trusted him. And, and we're all paying for it. It's... It's hard to admit that the man that I love doesn't exist. Well, so, you know, he did, he did some horrible things. But at least you still have Colby, and you have all of us. of Adam's comings and goings at all. Are you sure? You have no idea. Mr. Sorter, you doubt my word? No, not at all, Mary. You always Look, he bought so Liza's gracious. station right out from under her. He swindled his own brother to do that. Now, that's how he treats people that he loves. I mean, somebody has to stop that man for good. Go ahead, Marion. You be smug while you can. You self-righteous hypocrite. I'm out of here. Do you have a big, a big night? I gotta go back to the hospital and check on Jillian. Oh, God, how is she? Oh, that's what I need to find out. She was just waking up when I left. Well, will you give her our love? Hmm? I will. I will. Good night. Thank you. Hey, Jake. Yeah. You got a minute? Sure. Listen, I know you're worried about Colby. Well, uh, <laughs> it's, it's Adam. I'm, I'm gonna press charges. I am. I, I, I don't wait, care if Liza agrees with me. Just a second, okay? Do me a favor. Just, just hold off for a little while, okay? I waited a long time, now I got dibs on this one, all right? The man just took away my livelihood, my means to support my family. I gotta stick it to him while I can, and Liza's a big part of that. I, I, I'm not just gonna let this go, though. I'm not Ted. asking you to let it go, okay? All I'm saying is just, just think of it as a one-two punch, okay? First I get mine, then you get yours. And Adam gets his, right where he deserves it. Who knows, you know, maybe we get lucky. He'll leave both Colby and Junior alone. Uh, promises, promises. Now, wait a minute. I got Liza on my side at this point. You don't, correct? Not yet. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Now, you try to press charges, get him arrested, she's going to defend him. Next thing you know, she's giving him a second chance. So what are you going to do? I'll take a good look. She seems pretty upset to me. You know? We play this thing right, she gives him the boot. All right. All right, for now. And then I get my shot. All right. See you. How do we stick it to Adam, Mother? I think you're enjoying this a little bit too much. It's all right, Liza. You stay. I'll go. And you can tell me what I've missed later. Bye, all. Bye. So what's the plan? It's very simple. What does Adam value more than anything else? Adam. Adam. Exactly. His ego. Yeah, he puts his image above everything. I mean, you know, Adam the Great, Adam the Conqueror. Well, hang on, boys and girls, because we are going to expose Adam the Weasel. And this time, there's not going to be any lawyers or dummy corporations for him to hide behind, because we're going to do it publicly. We're going to reveal to the world the petty little man behind the curtain. And all we need to do is tell the truth. Our goal, complete humiliation. How do you feel about this, Liza? What do I have to do? Well, we have to find him first. Oh, I don't think that's going to be a problem. Even if Adam is cruising the river Styx, he's going to show up for the Chandler Enterprises board meeting. Are you sure about this? Oh, I'm sure about it. It seems there's been grumbling amidst the ranks of his slash-and-burn corporate policies. He's set on defending himself. Well, then that's it. We show up at that meeting, there'll be no place for him to hide. And everyone will know Adam for exactly who he is. 
the biz, we call it alpha damage. This can't be happening, huh? No, it can't be happening. How do you do, oh, Miss uh... Cummings? I, I'm so sorry, Ray Cummings. But you're the lady on the radio. Yes, yes. Oh, I thought I recognized your voice. Uh, I listen to you all the time. Oh, do you? You give the, you give those people really good advice. Well, thank you. Then yeah. you get some pretty weird yeah. people calling you up. I, do. I don't think I know what to say to you them at the time. I, I am so sorry. I, I know this is rude, but I really need to see your brother right away. Oh, yeah. Um. Well, I, I think if this were a supermarket, uh, you'd have to take a number. Excuse me? A whole lot of people want to talk to him. And they're all really mad at him. And not a one of any of them knows where to find him. Eli? Eli? Who's taking the station down without even talking to me first? I got a fax from Mr. Duffield, okay? What? He said to get rid of every trace of the cutting edge ASAP. I'm sorry, Liza. I just... I'm following the boss's orders. I need this paycheck a lot more than you do. I can't... Liza, what is with the stuff he got me? First he canceled the cutting edge, so he's trying to fire one of your best friends. Oh, uh, you haven't heard. Heard what? Hmm, Ducky Duffield is not really the owner of the station. He's a front man for Adam Chandler. Why would Adam need a front man? To get rid of the cutting edge, to fire Taz, so it looks like some faceless stranger a cotton in a way has done it. Is that what he said when you confronted him? Oh, I haven't had the privilege of confronting him, which is probably a good thing. Colby does not need a mother on death row. Why haven't you? Because, because he can't be found. He, he's hiding. No one can find him. What? I, I, I can't believe he did this to you. Scott, wait till you hear what he did to your father. Then you're going to join the lynch mob with everybody else. Goodness, Dr. Ray Cummings. I can't believe it. Hello. Hi. Hi. It's a pleasure oh, to meet you. This oh. is my wife. Oh, oh it's a pleasure oh, to meet you, oh, too. No, what brings you to the witch? Don't listen to her, Ray. Adam told me he'd help me find him. Yeah, I told her that Adam was missing. And, and, and uh, I'm really getting kind of worried about him. Oh, Donnie, Adam will show up when he wants to show up. I'm afraid he's persona non grata around here right now. Well, he's, he's such a prominent man. Uh, you know, corporate executives get kidnapped all the time. Have you, have you thought about that? Maybe he's been kidnapped. You know, I thought about that. I, I was... She, she could be right, you know. 
Maybe we should call the police, just in case. Oh, nonsense, darling. He's probably engineering some extremely hostile takeover somewhere in the world. Uh, now, if you'll excuse us, Dr. Ray, um, I'm sure you have a busy day, and um, I'm sure your appointment with um, Adam can wait. Why no. don't you call his office no, and make an appointment? No, you don't understand. You really can't wait. I need to see him today. He's the only one that can really help me. Well, as we just told you, he's not available, so call tomorrow. He might show up tomorrow. Oh, Thank yeah. you so much. It's really nice to meet you. Bye-bye. Thank you. <laughs> Mary Ann, I, I've never be, seen you be so rude to somebody before. Well, darling, I mean, she's a radio announcer. I mean, we can't have our private lives aired over the airwaves, can we? And besides, um, uh, Adam's disappearance is a family matter. Well, but you love publicity. <laughs> Are you sure? that you don't know where Adam is. <laughs> That's it, Stuart. Put the screws to her. Make her talk. <laughs> Me? Know where Adam is? Oh, darling. I mean, I'm probably the last person that Adam would confide in. Yeah, well, that's probably true, but uh, how come you're so sure that he's not in any kind of trouble? Well, because I know Adam. I mean, he'll show up when he wants to show up. I mean, he's probably doing this, darling, to make you feel sorry for him, so you'll forgive him no. for what he did to you. No, 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 and that's not like Adam at all. No, no, every time Adam does something wrong, he explains it to me in great detail and tells me how, how it's the best thing for me. <laughs> no matter what, how wrong he is, he always thinks he's right. And he hasn't said a word to me about this. It just doesn't seem right. Oh, darling, but you're not the only one he's hiding from, darling. There's, there's Liza as well. Yeah, well, but Liza is, isn't about to be fired like, a, like Tad was. No, that's true. That's true, but you know... What's that? The lights. Huh. I don't know, they... It could be a short, you know. That could be dangerous. Oh, darling, I mean, that could be very, very dangerous. Um, Stuart, why don't you run down to the basement and check on everything, okay? Okay, yeah, that's good, good. I, yeah, okay. Look, unbelievable. That would never hurt you, all right? You, you must feel awful about this. Well, I'm sure. But Adam pulled a fast one on everybody. He lied to all of us. So what? Uh, 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 that's it? Adam wins, Tad loses his show? Ah, uh, no. This is war. Tad and I are going to show Adam what it's like to be hurt by people you trust, who supposedly love you. Would you like to join us? Yes. Uh, just tell me what to do. Well, for starters, can you do something about these people who seem to be ripping down my set? Yeah, I'm on it. Hey, uh, I'm gonna order some uh, pizzas and beer. You guys uh, thirsty? Come along. Good. Excuse me. Liza? Hey. Great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hi. I thought you went back to Lambia. I did. I'm back, though. I just came from your house, as a matter of fact. I just heard the strangest story from your sister-in-law. Marion? My mother. Your mother? Really? <laughs> Don't ask. What'd she say? Well, she and uh, Stuart told me that Adam is missing. Is that true? Yes, and if he knows what's good for him, he's entered the witness protection program. I see. Well, things have changed since I was last here. Adam has changed quite a lot. He's done some terrible things, and I'm an idiot. No. We only hear what we want to hear. Ray, I'm his wife. He stole my TV station. My husband cleaned out my bank account, and he was so slick that he was able to con Adam. That's why all the bells went off in my head when I heard that Daniel is here in Pine Valley. You, you think he came to see Adam? I do, yes. Why, why, would he, why would Adam help someone who swindled you out of a bunch of money? God only knows. But I really believe they've cut a deal together. Well, if that's true, then heaven help him. Why? He'd be better off striking a deal with the devil himself. If 
find anything in the basement. Marion? Damn, it looks like a bowl of spaghetti. What happens if I, I take this wire, touch it to this wire? The lights flickered a couple of moments ago. Was that your doing? <laughs> Mary and I'm an industrialist, not an electrician. I wouldn't know a circuit box from a shoe box. There's that one problem up in the blue room on the guest wing. What about it? Well, there's a there's a leak in the ceiling. I was going to uh, fix it. Um, could be the source of your problem. Oh. Well, I'll have Stuart check it out. Do that. Oh, did you watch Ray Cummings on your monitor, darling? Oh, dear, your enemy list seems to be growing by leaps and bounds, Adam. Pretty soon there won't be one person left in Pine Valley who won't want to shoot you on sight. So, uh, don't have any thoughts about getting out of there, darling, because you're much safer right where you are. So, have a great day, darling. Ah, it's working! I am a genius. Now, sooner or later they're going to have to call an electrician, and he will find that the source of the problem is in this circuit box. Marion, don't have to worry about uh, being on the streets, darling. You're going to be making license plates at Statesville before you know it. <laughs> What? That settles it. You think? Daniel and Adam are involved somehow. Otherwise, why would both of them have gone underground? Well, I don't think that's the only reason that Adam has disappeared, but it's probably a part of it. You know what? I bet right now they're sitting around somewhere smoking expensive cigars and laughing about how they've played us both for fools. I'll tell you what. Why don't you let me have a crack at Adam first? Let me torture him. I'll hold him down for you. The force is with us, young Chandler. Okay. I took, uh, this and this one. <laughs> I could knock out the whole darn system.